بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایسے مولانا جی وی ار ڈسکسنگ دی ویری امپورٹنٹ ماڈیول اف لنگوئسٹک ڈیٹا اس فونیٹکس اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ واٹس آر دا بیسک ورڈز آئی ایم نوٹ ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ون اسپیسیفک لینگویج آئی ایم اونلی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا بیسک ورڈز اینڈ دا بیسک ورڈز ار کالڈ دا کارڈینل ورڈز اینڈ دیز کانسیپٹس ار انیشیٹڈ بائی and developed by Daniel Jones and he has postulated that there are some basic primary cardinal vowels that cannot exist in even any language but they are very helpful when we try to find out the vowels in any language these cardinal vowels are very helpful in finding out the vowel in any language and so This is very important for us to know when we want to know the vowels in any language. If you are working on any language and you want to find out the vowel sets of that particular language on which you are working and you are doing research. So this concept will be very helpful for all of you if you want to know more about the vowel and finding of new vowels in your language and before starting our video i want to tell you that if you are new in our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and if you are not using the youtube and you are using the facebook you can join our facebook link and you can find the link in the description box and this group is very important and if you want to discuss your issues and you can easily access over there and you will get the quick response and let's move to what our topic our topic is the cardinal vowels as i have told you that this is the concept that developed by the john daniel jones and he has told us that and he has developed the very initial points initial concepts when we describe the vowels for describing the vowel we must have a framework a model on that model um, of, uh, after applying that particular model the universal model we can find out the vowels on any language on language we are working so he has told us that there are some cardinal vowels and these vowels are i have told you that these are the basic vowels suppose this is not a diagram this is not the drawing or the diagram this is your oral cavity like this is your mouth and this is the your tongue and this part is supposed as the front of your oral cavity and this is the back of your oral cavity and it may this is the back of your tongue and this is the front of your tongue and this is the central of your tongue and if you want to produce any vowel this is your tongue and if your tongue is raised at this position you will produce the fit sound fit close sounds and front vowel and if you see beak and your lip position your tongue position is this position and if if you produce patch this is the the position of your tongue and if you produce catch the position of your lip the position of your tongue is this position the, your tongue will touch it at this level and in this way you can produce the catch and on that these are the front vowels and two are open two are close one is fully open and one is fully closed one is a half closed and one is half open vowel and if you want to observe that when you speak the sound fit fit you can say that the tip of your tongue moves towards the front of your tongue and this is the your mouth will remain closed and this is your the position of front and this is the close position fit 
And if you say big, this is the half closed in this position. And if you say pet, mean open position, pet. This is the open position, but half. If you put cat, your mouth white. And in this way, you will produce the word cat, air, some air, vowel. And see the back vowel. Mean, this is your tongue position. This is your tongue position, and if you produce the sound to the back of your tongue will resist toward this position. And in this way, this is called the back wall tooth. And if you produce, and this is the close position, but the back, the back of your tongue is involved while producing the sound tooth. And if you say cord, the back of your tongue will resist, and this is the half close position, but the back wall. And if you produce hot, this is the open position. Hot, hot, open position, your mouth widens. And in this way, you produce the word hot. And if you produce art, you produce art, your mouth widens. And in this way, you produce the art sum. And the very important point is that, that I want to tell you that we have the two sets of the vowel. One is the front vowel and one is the back vowel. And you can say that, you can observe that we have two sets. The front vowels are unrounded. Mean these are the vowels that are unrounded. And these are the back vowels that are the rounded. And what is rounded? And when you produce the these vowels, your lips remain unrounded. And if you produce this back vowel, your lips rounded like hot put. Next is caught aunt. Your lips position will be rounded position. So these are the two positions. And if you want to know more about language and linguistics, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and